Rocks. All right. <clears throat> so let's go over to Painted Rocks. What's going on over there right now? Okay, right. All right. So Painted Rocks is a very significant uh, archaeological site uh, on the southwest corner of Flathead Lake, um, uh, just north of Rollins there. And uh, it's this really unique uh, exposed cliff face where uh, the Salish and Kootenai tribes had painted um, these, uh, the, these, these portraits or these paintings on the rock face. There's been a lot of surveys done above the rocks, right? But there's never been a comprehensive survey of anything that could be underneath the water. So whether or not uh, sometime in prehistory where uh, the cliffs might have eroded or broken off, or if there were um, other significant artifacts that uh, you know were deposited or lost in the lake, um, we just haven't had the technology or the research resources to go down and dive and investigate what could be lying below the water um, in proximity of those painting sites. So what we were doing is a similar survey. We were trying to collect a photogrammetry model. So a photogrammetry model is where you take hundreds or thousands of pictures of a structure and using uh, some advanced uh, software, you could create a three-dimensional replica of that site. So we did a very, very detailed, a very, very awesome. I'm actually quite proud of this. <laughs> it was a very awesome uh, 3D photogrammetry model of the painted rock site itself, everything above the water. Um, we were using aerial drones to capture all that. And um, we were going to pair it with a photogrammetry model of everything underneath the water. So that way we'd have a very a two scale, very accurate um, depiction of everything above the water and below the water um, that we can have for archaeological catalog. Um, so in order to take that detailed of a photo scan, you know, we have to pilot the ROV a, a consistent distance away from the cliff face. Um, we have to have a very strict survey grid so that we can make sure we cover the whole area effectively. So when we first went out there, yeah, the visibility was actually um, not too good. Uh, we had some high winds, which made it really hard for the boat to hold anchor. Um, so as we were, you know, piloting the ROV, the boat was dealing with a little bit of drift and it'd be pivoting around the anchor as the wind was shifting. Um, luckily, nobody got seasick, but we did have some big wave action there, which made operations a little bit more challenging. I can um, attest to that. <laughs> yeah, you, you did good, buddy. You did really good. Um, the other thing was uh, just the visibility. You know, there's some interesting currents around the uh, Painted Rock site. So sediment and material is kind of swirling around. So as you're trying to take consistent photos, um, you've got the backscatter of particulate matter that's altering your images a little bit. But what was really interesting is once you drop below about 60, about 68 feet, kind of in that 70 foot range, all of that sediment is collected on the lesser dense warm water mm -hmm. compared to the cooler, more dense water below that line. So as soon as you drop to that 70 foot mark, uh, all the sediment just kind of dissipated. You look up with the rover and you can see the ceiling of sediment kind of swirling around. So below 70 feet, we did have decent visibility. Of course, there was a lot of mysis and denser particulate matter that kind of clouded our view, but um, we were able to do a lot better surveys below that 30 or 70 foot mark. 